Number six. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the road to Street Fighter VI. Oh, thank God, we're in a real game again. Oh, that last one was a bit silly. But here we're moving on to a game that is super legit, being Alpha 2. I'm very excited for this. It's considered a refinement and replacement of the original, so it's both a sequel and a remake. Yes, the one thing I've been told is that the stories in Alpha 2 are, like, redone versus 1. So it's not so much, yeah, it's kind of like a like a remake. Roster expands the 19 with uh, all the returning characters alongside M. Bison, Akuma, and Dan as regular characters. Five new ones have been added. Gen, Dalsim, Rolento, Sakura, and Zangief. Also, uh, secret versions of existing characters. Evil Ryu plays more like Akuma. Street Fighter 2 CE versions of Zangief and Dalsim. Weird. Since Akuma's added to the regular roster, a powered-up version of him known as Shin Akuma replaced him as a secret boss. I looked up. How to get to that? I'm not getting to that. There's no way. Shinikub is not playable as a as, uh, not available as a playable character. The random character box has been removed as well. Interesting. Various tweaks have been made. Each character now has two alpha counters: one for punch, one for kicks. The chain combo is replaced by the custom combo system. Now, rather than being available all the time, if the player's super combo gauge is one or above, the player can begin a custom combo by pressing two punch buttons and a kick at the same time. Okay. Players can then perform. Uh, any basic or special moves to create custom combos as... Wow, okay. Uh, Gen and Guy can still perform chain counters to some extent, but by and large, the game is less... Why Guy and Gen specifically? Uh, less combo-heavy damage inflicted by both of them have been reduced, uh, all of which serves to balance the game. Graphically, all the, return, all the returning character stages, cutscenes, endings have been completely redone. Health bars are longer and thinner, and the returning character voice is either pitched higher or lowered or completely replaced. The pitch of sounds and background music change. It's a player. Each player is a specific rival. Oh, cool. They face when they meet requirements. Rather than appearing as a boss, the rival will interrupt one of the matches in the middle of the game and trigger a special dollar. Oh, cool, cool, cool. The three special characters in the North American version were not in the Japanese. Okay. To line these versions, a new version called uh, of Zero Two, known as Al Zero Two Alpha, was released in Japan and Asia. This brought the Japanese version along with the US one, bringing in more characters. Uh, oh, cool. Extra colors to select the third and fourth palette colors. Press two punch, two kicks. But against the secret opponent, win five rounds. They don't need to be consecutive with either super or custom combo finishes. The character's secret opponent will appear. I'm going to try for that. Um, Shinakuma, that's not happening. Start players, player one using, uh, you know, color before reaching must achieve three perfects. That's not happening. Chun-Li's hidden uh, to play as her in her original costume. That's cool that that's in. Uh, Kikokin will now be a charge again. Dalsim and Zangief's originals is there versus battle stage select an arcade mode hold start then go to the character stage wait for two seconds oh okay cool love I love these little secrets I really do also game speed will be three game difficulty one I'm baby let's go I'm not gonna do the auto block well I'll put on free selectors well no because it sucks because you don't get much so like you get you lose your meter so here we are I did get this on PS1. I remember downloading Classic for this because I'm like, I want to play a Street Fighter. Which one? And I grabbed this one just randomly. Alpha 2. This intro is so good. Like, iconic. Look at her! That's who we're playing as, baby. The main character. That's cool. Nice. He tried his best. Okay. Pop in a few quarters. And, uh, let's do this. All right. Chunners is first. All right, so we have three supers also. Other than that, Sakura, does she have a mid-air Hadouken? Well, that goes really high. That's almost like an anti-air. Love that move. Love that move. 
Okay. Nice. We got with a super, baby. That's one. We gotta get five of those, right? So, keep trying for that. Okay, that's interesting that that's on... That's on kick there. But forward kick. Whoop. Okay. Slight panty shots here and there, but that is to be expected with the schoolgirl type character. I thought they, they replaced them with spats in the North American version. Okay, let's go. Oh, I tried to do super and it didn't work. I should just go custom combo then, right? Because it's, it's easier. God, that screams incredible. Do we have time for another beating for my next class? The fact that it's cheese is so funny. The Sim. That, that 3D portrait there is very strange. Like, he looks 3D there. The shading on it. Some elephants in India. Oh, that's his wife. Yo, Dalsim's wife kind of has it going on, though. Like, for real. Did, sorry, did his skull go... Oh, no, they just flew up to his head. It seriously looked for a second like they were, like, in his head there. Okay, well, I might not get this one. That's incredible. I want a girl do that to me. Okay, I want you to hit me just so I can get meter to do a super. Okay, I don't I don't gain it for just doing nothing. Do I get it for getting hit? Okay, there we go. Cool, I did an alpha counter instead accidentally. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Oh my god, she's so sad. We made Dalsim's wife sad. I'm gonna try the, uh, the alpha thing here. There we go. Okay, that works. Oh, you just walk forward and can press buttons. I've never understood how that worked. Why did I get a sailor uniform for that? Do they have special ones? Wow, that was cool. Do it again. <laughs> Do they have special win things? That's kind of neat if that's the case. Saddam. That name is still a problem. Oh, well. So the reason in the Super Nintendo version his name is Katana, which just now makes me think of that one Suicide Squad meme. The name's Katana. Some some shall cut you with the with the sword, steal your soul. I was so bad. The original, not 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 the not the new one. The new one's actually really good. Ooh, you're doing damage to me, buddy. Ow. Oh, wow, that was a shot. That's definitely not the spats. That's amazing. That's a 10 out of 10 win thing to have the, the shoe come off. Oh, wow. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so I got to try and get, get the, the, the meter there. Okay. Sakura is honestly such a simple design, and yet it's so good, right? Okay, break out. Well, that's so easy to do, then. Okay. That's three, right? We gotta get a couple more for sure. I'm gonna pop a save state just to be careful, because it's said by the fifth round, right? I'm just, just gonna be careful here, because I really, I really want to pop them, and if there's anyone I can pop them on, it is Dan. I mean, they're friends, but... kind of. Alright. Once again, Dan's theme, Immaculate. That does so much damage, too. It is interesting, because one thing I'll say is her... Oh, frick. I wasn't even watching the HP. 
The, um... Her... Attacks. Like, the he they, they feel unrefined in that the heavy ones go too far if you're up close. Which is just an interesting sort of way to like be like, she's not, you know, super talented in the arts because she can overshoot things, right? She can go too far. Oh, frick. Come on. We need, we need to get those special KOs. It's fine. We'll get it. Because I want to get both of them on, on this one here. Okay, so if you tap three times, she can change it from a regular Hadouken to that. So what if I tap it twice? Because because once is a shot, twice is like the big one. Okay, so it's a bigger one. That's cool. Okay. That works. I get a lightning bolt for that. Okay. That scream is incredible. There, there's a chaotic energy to Alpha Era Sakura that you don't get nowadays. She's calmed down a lot when she's not asking Ryu to put a baby in her, which is still the funniest thing. And I, I like, actually hilarious. Right? That that she literally spends her story in Street Fighter V is her going like, Yo, Ryu, what if we, like, had a baby? Wouldn't that be nuts? Okay, I'm gonna have to make sure I win with, with the thing here. Wouldn't that be nuts if we had a child together? And Ryu's like, oh, the answer doesn't lie in the heart of battle or something. Well, yeah, you can just do that, huh? Just mash. Alright. Ryu was so shocked by that. Gen. Oh, Gen sucks. I remember fighting Gen and getting stuck here, and I remember him sucking. Oh boy, I was gonna say, it sure be nice if a new challenger, but Sagat! Those moves, you know Ryu, where is he? Say please. So you should be like, no! Out of my way. Oh wow, okay. Where's your manners? I'm so glad he's calmed down as time went on. Like, this era Sagat? He's a mean guy. Right? Whereas now, he's a lot more nice. Nice. Wow, that just popped him off. <gasps> Look at her dance! They put that in Fortnite! That's weird. The fact that she does her little dance in Fortnite will forever be the weirdest thing. Like the fact that kids will literally know the soccer dance from Fortnite. The fact that kids know Sakura from Fortnite in general is a problem, you know, of itself, but... I was gonna say, is that gonna work? I was surprised that it did. Come on. No! I'm trying to super! Oh, that works. Okay, well, we don't need to win with those anymore anyways. We just got a V, because that, that was just a regular victory, I guess. No cheese, huh? Victory's mine. Get up, loser, so I can smack you again. Based. Oh, we still gotta fight Gen? Oh. I was hoping it would skip Gen. I don't like Gen. Gen is annoying. Got those big old sleeves. I mean, I get it. He is a Street Fighter 1 character, but... He's also got the Tims. I'm gonna be super real. I call every pair of shoes Tim's. This is I I do do I know what Tim's are? Not really. I'm just trying to be cool. Okay. Tried. Tried my best. You know, again winning with supers, but it's fine. So I get that level three, might as well just do the custom combo again. Aw, oh, cool. I'm not trying for that! Break the old man's neck very slowly. Hey, we got a perfect at least. 
Do you have time for another beating before my next class? Oh, more characters I don't like. It's Adon. Again, I saw more specific fans of Adon. I don't get it. What's his appeal? I can usually understand the appeal of a character, but I got nothing for this dude. This Mega Man X sounding soundtrack. That works. I'll say grabs are nice and easy in this. Okay. That's cool. That's a cool grab. I like that grab a lot. Look at her little smile. What good sprite work. Repeated punches. Nine punches in a row. That's all it was. Wow, that was cool. Do it again. All right. Oh, bison. Okay. Bison's not last. That's intriguing. Oh, we're on, like, the base. Okay, this is a very Street Fighter V looking stage. Okay. Will Bison be just as annoying as in everything? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got... His portrait shines there when he teleports there. Okay, so far that wasn't bad, right? I've I've had many worse. I've had many worse bouts. Is Ry Ryu's got to be the final opponent then, right? So I don't think it'll be Akuma. Oh, you can get through that, huh? Interesting. Ooh, boy. Oof, that damage. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We take the one. Oh, boy. I wonder if there's a way to better maximize that. It probably is. Dang it. Oh, come on. That was close that time. Come on. Not gonna... Not gonna lose from there. I have no idea how he jumped over me there. Fool. Okay, yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Though he's not the final opponent, as we as we previously stated. Victory's mine. Get up, lose the target. Smack you again, Ryu. Yeah, it's got to be that. The faded battle. Oh, I love this stage. This stage's beautiful. I've been looking for you, Ryu. What do you want with me, little girl? Is that any way to talk? I'm your number one fan. That's Miss Little Girl to you. That's weird. Don't like that. Don't say that. That's strange. Okay, here we go. Jazzy. Whoop. Wow. Okay. This is Ryu, all right. You can play that game. Dang it! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. 
classic win pose. Dang, that damage, though. Okay, dang. Dang, Ryu, okay, we kind of came close to that first round, but then that second round, you, you were... You're playing for keeps, bro. Nice, that worked. Oh, yo, the alpha counter. Nice. Wow! That was kind of sick, though. You gotta, you gotta admit, that was pretty cool. I can't even be, I can't even be mad at that. Okay. Okay, first throw. Final opponents are always tough as, as nails. That's, that's the Street Fighter law. Yep, that's the law. Okay, we'll take that meter into the second round, I guess. Okay. Come on. Wow, you can just break me out of that. It's not even super worth it, that one there. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be one of these? Alright, see you guys in a sec. There we go. Hey, that even ended with a really cool battle, actually. That was pretty good. He's not super tough, but... Wait, where are you going? I want to learn more. I want to be stronger. Please, please teach me. Be my master. I'm still learning myself. I don't have time for schoolgirl games. You're on your own. Wow, Ryu. I've got to go. At least give me something to remember you by. Well, that's kind of cute, because doesn't she take a picture of Spider-Man in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom? Took it easy on me, I know. What does he mean by he's still learning? I thought street fighting was just for fun. Maybe he knows the true meaning of fight. I have to see him again to ask him. Morning, Sakura. Who's that? Oh, is it your boyfriend? My master, maybe? What? Oh, dang. What do you mean? Just probably is like a sugar daddy situation. Forget, we don't have time. We'll be late for school. Oh, Sakura's theme is so good, too. Sakura's theme is so good. I'm gonna need a crash course. It Like, it's wild how immediately appealing Sakura is as a character. Like, as soon as I saw her, I was immediately like, yep, she's one of my favorites. I don't even know anything else about her. It's just such a strong design. Speaking of, this game is, yeah, just such a better version of Street Fighter Alpha 1. Just immediately in there. Game over. Game over. We did it. No, oh, this was fun. This was good. We didn't get to fight uh, Shinakuma because I'm not that good. But uh, hey, it's not bad. Got a good score and everything. All right, let's modern it up. Okay, here we are back here. Uh, so we have a couple different things I could look at. So for her V skill, I only have the first one here. Let's see here. So leaping forward attack, press three times to continue combo. Well, I think we'll do that one. 
Uh, that, this is a good color costume. I forgot about that. V Trigger 1 envelops in blue energy, powers up the Hadokens. Can do a palm thrust. V Trigger 2 sees them envelop blue energy, which increases Shokin. I like the Shokin, so sure, we'll do with her V Trigger 2 then. Now, as for costume, let's take a look. So, her default here is her as now a arcade operator, which I kind of love, but I actually don't love this as a default costume. I, I, I much prefer her classic story. This is fun. The Capcom staff, the fact that there's real Capcom employees who wear this outfit is kind of amazing. Battle outfit. I mean, yeah, this is this is this is a good one too, right? This color scheme just looks visually nice, right? And you know, little references here and there with some of the different ones, you know, Dan, you got like uh, you know, almost a buki. That's good. That's good stuff, right? Nostalgia. This is the one we got to use though cuz like this is this this is Sakura. Is when we look at her, it's it's like that's that's a Sakura. CPT. I mean, this is good too. This is nice. The lipstick I feel is a bit much. Is he, yeah, no lipstick versus lipstick. Swimsuit. This is pretty strong too, right? Holiday. Nah, not a fan. I mean, I'm a fan of the hair, but I'm not a fan of the reindeer aesthetic. Ad styles, whatever. Roll. This is fun, right? Mega Man Legends roll. Any of these like a reference? That's kind of a that's a Tron Bond color. Nice. Party dress. Eh, it's fine. Tracksuit. Okay, so yeah, no, let's we gotta go with the nostalgia, because like this is this is maximum the Sakura. Yeah, let's go. yeah, let's just stick with uh this here. Okay, perfect. We gotta fight Rose. I don't think she has any kind of changes or gimmicks in this one, if I'm correct. I think she's pretty straightforward. Round one. God, the schoolgirl look is still just perfect, huh? It is actually like, yeah, go going to this after Alpha 2 is a bit slower, which is a bit strange. I for wait. That is fun. I forgot about that. That reminds me of... Look at her. That reminds me a bit of, um... Jury had a move similar in Street Fighter... Um... Street Fighter 4 that was taken out for this. Right? Is that gonna work? Yep. That's fun. That's a good one too. I love, I love the flourishes after they do certain animations that you really only see with the DLC characters later. You can be fortunes, you can tell me when I'll get a better job. Oof, right? Oof. Sakura v Sakura? Sure, let's go. We get to go to Sakura's house stage, which is fun. I like that stage a lot. We didn't get to see that in Alpha 2 here. Or is that an Alpha 3 stage? Regardless, it's a really good stage that uh, I like quite a bit. The Kasugano Residence, right? I just like it because it's so cozy and comforting, right? Just this like kids inside playing his video games, right? Her brother. Good stuff. So she doesn't have the the burst fire there, right? I I forgot how much I like that V skill a lot. That's a really fun one. Giving you little little hits or little dive kick. That's strong. Right? So that one only hit once there. What if I can actually? That's not a launcher, right? No. Just a little tough, tough to hit for sure, right? But when you do it, you do it good. And that that confuses them. Oh, I forgot that she has an upper one. Okay, so that that, that wow, good. Good job with the, the panties there. But yeah, that, that powers that up, which is cool. 
Those are kind of more bloomerish, though. Yeah, those those are definitely the bloomers. It is wild that they made two versions of it. Well, uh, we didn't fight Geef and Alpha, but he is he is there, so we'll go with him this time. We didn't fight Birdie, so. See, it's funny because I know there's people that are like, uh, the fact that she's not wearing panties is censorship. But also there's people that are like, the fact she's wearing bloomers is better. Right? It's a very, very close-minded idea to be like, uh, you know, less clothes is better. Not always. So that's, that's quarter circle four with kick. Okay, that's not even the heavy one. Interesting. Oh, I was going to try to go for it there. Sakura's English voice is good. It's one that I don't mind. I know there's some people who think it's blasphemy for her to be speaking English at all, but I mean, that's just how this game is. The whole cast speaks English. Okay. Oh, I put in the code and I'm like, I wonder if it changed anything. It gave her the backpack. It's amazing. That's really strong. I like how it gives her the backpack. That's good. Look at that. I mean, mind you, I am on easy, but still. Yeah, giving the backpack is fun. I like, I, again, the, the whole thing with the costume pieces is fun. It's just a shame that, like, you pretty much only get them if you know the code. And even then, like, you don't see them very often, right? I do, I do hope that if there are fun options like this, they are just toggles or stuff. Oh my god, look at him looking in the distance. I've never seen him appear in arcade mode. Well, that's a face. Dan's English voice being shared with Mega Man X is a bit strange. Like modern Mega Man X, not not the original Mega Man X. I think he does a pretty good job. In fact, he's he's a fun voice actor in general. I, I like him quite a bit in in doing his stuff. I forgot about half of Dan's moves in this now, too. Nice. Yo, Sakura, your hair grew. Is this the Cap Jams version? I can't tell, but I'm so happy they're in the game. There's, no, this isn't. The Cap Jams one is smoother. Like, that, that, this here is big the girl who leapt through time vibes, right? And we all sort of see that where it's like, it's just like the way the jumping is, is very much reminds me of that. I wonder if that's 100% a, a reference or if it's just, you know, just the visual of a schoolgirl, you know, jumping like that is just, it's powerful. It's a powerful look, man. Yeah, the backpack, the backpack really suits it, right? We all have to grow up. Oh my god. Because she has like a job and everything now, right? Imagine a, a, a kid that was younger than you basically telling you, bro, it's time to grow up. And like that kid has like a job and everything now. Oh my god. That's brutal. That's brutal. Like Dan, Dan faces a lot of abuse in these games, but like... That one, that one feels like that'll hurt a lot. Feels like that'll shake Dan to his core. Round one. All right. Fight. Yeah, just just like uh, Alpha there, you know, we we have his his wife here cheering him on. Street Fighter is full of a lot of good wives in general, which makes a lot of people who think that we're getting, uh, you know, Ken divorce arc, 
I don't think so. Street Fighter in general has a lot of... I think it's literally just Ken catching him at a bad time, you know? We're not always dressed to the nines. Right? It's sometimes, sometimes you want to be comfy. Barker, barker. Alright. How did I know? Oh, but I still missed. That works good when they're ducking. Right? Nice. Can I do one, two? No, I can't do one and two into a kick. Okay. There we go. I was going to see if I could charge up the uh, EX Hadoken. The answer is a firm negatory. You get weirder every time I see you. Sure, this is yoga? That's fun. Um, neither of these characters I can fight, but we'll go with Mika, because she's more of an alpha character. She is an alpha character, but she's not in, in Alpha 2. She makes her debut in that Alpha the Third. I, I do hope Mika's back. I, I actually mained Mika when this game came out for a bit, Um, when I sort of figured out you can do the, the throw into her crazy grabs and stuff. I enjoyed her quite a bit. You know, the only problem is her base design was too, uh, too inappropriate for ESPN, so, you know, they're gonna have to heavily change her. Literally, they made the tracksuits just so that you can play as her on TV. And that's why, for a bit, they made it so that you had to use the tracksuits when playing in Capcom Pro Tours. Try to do an EX thing there. I love this stage, by the way. Legitimately might be my favorite stage in the game. Mind you, we, we're not playing the theme of it right now, but its stage theme is amazing. Uh, the cameos are awesome. Those are the Judgment Girls from Third Strike. If we go over to the left, we have the girls from Rival Schools, right? We got, yeah, Hinata and What's-Her-Face from Rival Schools. I love it. It's really cool. And even just the way the stage looks where you're fighting with the water, it's so cool. It's super banned. Oh no, trust me, this this is super banned. There's multiple characters who place items on the ground. And so to have a thing where it's like they can't see the ground, well, that's a problem, right? Is that going to work? Yep. You know, having it so you can't see the ground, you know, Birdie rolling a can or Nikali's crazy barf, all of those can't be seen. So that's a problem. But I love it as a stage concept, so. You win. And yeah, like, it was, people were like, oh man, when uh, Kira was announced, they were like, wow, Rival School's character, I can't believe it. Even though, like, they're right there in the background. Um, we, let's do Nash, because Nash is in, or sorry, Charlie, Charlie Nash is in uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2. We didn't, we didn't fight Cammy. Because Cammy debuts in her Alpha design in a spinoff, right? Doesn't she debut in one of, like, the X-Men games? I'm pretty sure she does. The, the Street Fighter vs. X-Men, maybe? Round one. Fight. This is a good sort of alternate Nash stage, too, right? Because it's, like, you know, all Air force -y. Mind you, it's over Dubai, right? It's not over, you know, the United States, but... Yeah, go down there, buddy. Go down there, buddy. God, you can not not have her panties show. It's like, it's impossible. And it's interesting, because I know some people really complain about how big the hands and feet are in Street Fighter, but I legitimately think it complements Sakura's design so much. Like, it's one of those things where just, just the, the meatiness of her limbs is an absolute charm point. You get a lot of it less here. But it's still a thing that I, I believe is a good visual indicator, right? And plus, yeah, if you're like that's one of the reasons that I think Mortal Kombat animations suck is that they lack the they lack the visual oomph because of uh, the focus on realism, right? When you punch in Mortal Kombat, it feels like a slap, 
With these big, meaty claws on characters, they all feel like you're getting whacked, right? Like, yeah, the face capture on Mortal Kombat's really good, but shame about everything else. Ah, Rog. We haven't fought Cammy, as I did say. Yeah. No, uh, don't expect any Mortal Kombat retrospectives or anything like that. Uh, just... I don't like those games. I don't. And it comes down to a couple things, one of them being... Uh, one, the superiority complex that Mortal Kombat players have. Because we're like, I don't play those stinking Japanese games. You know, I play, I play this cool, you know, Western one. And at the same time, it's like, you know, the one that was literally curbing color, you know, ideas from, you know, Japanese games and Japanese media with like the Asian sort of themes and stuff. But also, you know, the whole thing about, you know, giving the people working on it PTSD from all the, uh, all the horrible gore they had to look at. Not a fan of that. Not a big fan. And finally, it just comes down to I don't like how it feels. I've given it a try. I've tried it. I, I think it is stiff and I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy the inputs. I don't enjoy the down forward, right? Even though you can turn on Street Fighter style, but then it's like a toggle in the options. That means that, you know, like I, I can't use simp the one style while my opponent uses the other. I think that's super stupid, right? And uh, do, do I have to say anything about the c character customization and stuff and how they lock away moves? Oh, man. Well, uh, ooh, let's, let, let's fight. Let's fight Kage. He's not really evil Ryu. He's labeled as different, but he's close enough. And that is an Alpha 2 character. I know more than one person who called him Cage until it was said in-game. I knew it was Kage immediately, but I know legitimately people who are like, yeah, that's Cage, and I'm like, it's not. He is just the, the furthered evil Ryu. Like, that, that is all he is. I know there's some people that are still like, whoa, what does it mean? He is just the furthered and expelled evil Ryu. That's it. It's easy. He's easy to understand, right? There was a lot of people asking for Evil Ryu back, and when he was brought in in the form of Kage, a lot of people didn't like it. I think they just wanted Evil Ryu for the name Evil Ryu, right? Not so much the actual, the actual sort of, you know, concept of Evil Ryu. I just, her moves are just pretty fun to do. Wow. Really laid flat out with that one. You win. I, I enjoy Sakura as a character, as a gameplay style. It's always good. I'm, do I wish that we had ta tan Sakura? Oh, wow. We do end with Ryu. That's cool. I do wish that we had an actual tan Sakura like costume and stuff though. Cause that whole concept of the fact that there is an Akuma version of Sakura that is literally just Sakura after getting too much suntan. And she gains the power of, uh, you know, the power of the Satsui no Hado and can do a raging demon. And she has a tan, which is adorable. Give me more tan girls. This is the path of my destiny. It's a bit weird that we're fighting here, but all right. It's not very, I think, I think, I think it's cause you, they, they, they put it as Ryu because you know, that's the final battle. But because it's the final battle, we're in the same base that you would fight Bison normally, right? No more alpha... Oh, that worked! Because they no more alpha counters for you. Because they are not as good in this game. In fact, they're kind of trash. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm gonna pop on my backpack. I did it. I, I'm a bit sad they don't make her do her dance, but we do have it in 3D in Fortnite now. That goes over projectiles. That's rad. Oh, 
That's really good at avoiding Hadokens too, huh? Is that working? Nope, that's a guard. I couldn't tell. Okay. That works better there. Okay. We got a couple hits off. Oh, that leads with a ender now. Cool. You win. Yeah, yeah. That was easy. Because I was uneasy. And that's fine. Thank you so much. I feel like I've learned something. Is it going to be the Alpha 2 ending? So no Alpha 3 has actually sequel endings, kind of. That is the Alpha 2 one. A fateful meeting. An exchange of blows and a farewell. The brief encounter touched her heart. Hey, who was that? I think it's going to be my... T oh, they changed it from Master to Teacher. I see, I see. Listen to this Mega Man Battle Network music. Hot dang. I like the texture on the page. It's very painterly. Yo! That artwork is cool! Who the freak is Hajime Ueda? That artwork is awesome! Who? Hajime Ueda. Fooly Cooly? This is the mangaka for Fooly Cooly? Okay. What else has he done? Worked on Die Buster? Worked on the... Oh, did the... Did stuff for the Monogatari series? Worked on Fate Last Encore, Episode 9. Sick. Nice. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. I like that art a lot. I'm going to send that to my friend D, because my friend D, Funky Space Alien on Twitter, go follow him, has like a very Y2K art style, and this is very up his alley. Oh, that's also good. Namboku. That's cute. Thank you for playing. Nice. Special artwork. I guess we did it for doing some good stuff there. Nice. All right. Sounds good, guys. Thank you all for watching. And um, I'm going to actually take a look here. So um, there's a on Fighters Resource. They have fighting games by year, which is really useful because then I can go to. So, for example, Alpha 2. So then the next one for me to play, if I'm going in this order, is actually, yeah, X-Men versus Street Fighter, right? Because this one came out after Alpha 2 and technically is a successor to it. So that's cool. So yeah, we're, we're I mean, it does say, it does recommend to play the Saturn version. I don't know if I have that one downloaded, but we'll see there. We'll see. All right, guys, uh, I will see you next time for that then. Ciao.